they go doing me now. I'm still a talk of the town. Running the scissors, I'm hooking them down. Reaching the spots, no frowns. Can't hop out, then we clearing the crowd. Stand alone, they're surrounded by some fake shit. Niggas say it love, but nobody really see it. Niggas say it love, but nobody really say shit. Niggas wanna know how you feel, how you fake it. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Swindler said I'd rather stand alone. What's up, y'all? We on a new episode of Talk of the Town. Today we have a special guest. Yes, sir. What's going on, man? It's your boy Swindler in the building, man. Wendell, uh, how you been feeling? How you feeling? I've been feeling? chilling, been vibing, man. Same shit, different day, just working on this music, trying to get my shit right, you feel me? Okay. All right, so we're going to play a little icebreaker to warm you up. I'm going to ask you a question. It's the first thing that comes to mind. I heard you. First thing that comes to mind. Copy. All right, so one, describe Florida in one word. Different. Different. Last thing you spent money on. Food. Worst song ever. Some nigga named Ice JJ Fish. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Last. <laughs> yo, I ain't hear him in a minute. Last song you listened to? Uh, AMG, uh, FCG Heem. Okay. Um, most underrated artist? Y and GKA. Young car. I don't young know. Young car? Yeah, yeah, young car. Celebrity crush? Sweetie. Okay. Um, which rapper would you not let date your daughter if you had one? Not let my, date my, the baby. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, one sentence for your ex? I hope you chilling, man. <laughs> Just like that, gangster. Okay, one word to describe your album? Versatile. Best song on your album? Price on my head. One song you made that slept on? Bound to. Okay, one artist you want to collab with? The TJ. And your favorite thing about New York? People. People? Gangster. Wow. People say we mean. <laughs> nah, respectfully, <laughs> no, respectfully, yeah, but just the vibe in New York is just like sanctioning me. Like, I just fuck with it heavy. Okay. Like, this is home, you feel me? All right, so for the people Copy. that don't know, tell us where you're from. I mean, I'm from, from New York, and I'm from Florida, so I spent half my life in Florida and half my life in New York, 50-50, so some people don't really understand that, or, like, just the way I talk sometimes, I sound like I'm from New York, or I sound like I'm from Florida, so... Really, I just spent, I was born in New York, I was born in Spring Valley, New York. I had moved to Florida when I was younger, then I had moved back to um, back to New York back when I was probably like 15, 16-ish, finished, finished um, high school over there, kicked out of college, and I had moved back to Florida, so now I'm currently just like in Florida, just macking this shit, but really, I'm just, spent my life in New York and Florida, so really, I'm just from both cultures, if you want to say it like that. Okay. So, do you have a favorite, or? Uh, New York, because every time I touch down, I know I'm saying I'm, I'm home, for me. As soon okay. as I breathe the air, it's like, yeah, gangster. I know Florida got, like, reptiles and Of course, they got the animals and, and all, the, <laughs> all, the, yeah, all the extra I'm shit. I'm not ready for that. Nah, you can, I'm not mad at you. But New York, you know, we got rats and course, squirrels and all types of things. I'm already used to that, but they, the, now the rats probably all right, boom. But you know, the pigeons and shit, just mind their <laughs> business and not fucking with you. And all that stuff. All right, so what was it like growing up? So I guess you, you know, you was born in New York, uh -huh. then you had to move to Florida, to adjust to Florida. Uh -huh. So what was it like growing up? It was different. Like I always said, like, I don't really got no hood. I don't got no, like, I don't claim no city or no district. From, I'm really from everywhere. Like, I didn't say hi and bye to a lot of people and see people, like, come and go in and out of my life for real. So, really, it's been, like, I say difficult just, like, keeping relationships with friends and shit, like, just talking with people. So that's why I don't really be, like, close with people because always, like, I, I'm either in your life or you go or you know, leaving out my life type shit. So, that's been really the only thing for me. But besides that, it's been, like, I'm from New York and I'm from Florida and then that shit's vibing to me. I be chilling, you feel me? So. Okay, so maybe like you have like you don't like to be too attached. Gangster, like I, I prefer to get attached before either I hurt somebody or somebody hurt me type shit. So okay. before it's that, I just be like, fuck it, I don't even talk to nobody type shit. Okay, so is you like that with friends, with relationships, or just I everything said, in general? I like with everything in general. Okay, all right, but um, so what's your background? Like, where you from? Like nationality wise, American? I'm Haitian. I'm Haitian American. Okay, gangster. Okay. <laughs> So you speak that. All right. <laughs> All right. I don't know much about it, but I know like <laughs> but y'all you know, stick together in Florida it's has ridiculous. a lot of them. So, yeah. Feel me? No, so, so I know. Nah, okay. But um, okay. So how how did the music start? I started the music. I started uh, wanting to be a producer, so I was making beats and shit. Mm, okay. I was going through a point in my life where I wasn't really I wasn't really talking to nobody. 
Mm-hmm. So like all my feelings and stuff, I always say like a beat don't judge you. That's like my main thing to say, like a beat don't judge you. So everything I felt, I just started putting, I started off like making poems and shit. And then I started just like putting everything I felt on beats. And then from there, that's just been my way to like get it to. So now even if like niggas don't fuck with me, it's never been for the purpose of like trying to get a fan base. I'm trying to, it's just my way to like vent and cope because I don't talk to nobody, you feel me? So it's just mm-hmm. been my way to just get away type shit. Okay, so what made you like get into beats? Like, was like what was? Nah, I think I had yeah. I, like what happened beats. With that? I see my, I think I see my. I was in the studio with my mans. I was just watching that shit. Just look, that shit just looked tough. I was like, yeah, that shit hard. I want to try that. I tried that. I was working with it, but it's just like mad technical. Okay, so it's mad shit to learn. So I was like, so you didn't like stick with it? Yeah, nah. It was okay, like, all right, boom. Then transition to poems. Transition to start writing, poems, start writing right. my feelings, and boom, from there, it's just start making music. Okay, so t- walk us through the first time we went to the studio. The first time I went to the studio was with my um, a studio. No, nah, the first time I like, went to the studio, I recorded was my man's closet, gangsta. Okay. He had, a, he had a home studio. He had that shit set up in his closet, and that was the first time like I, I recorded. And I was like, oh, I fuck with this shit. Okay, you remember that track? I remember it's my out first track. Now? Yeah, it's out on SoundCloud. It's called Here We Go. <laughs> so how do you feel like you grew from then to now? Nah, if you listen to that now, it's probably just talking about bullshit. Like, okay. Now you really gonna learn more about me, my story, my life, how I feel, my thought process type shit. But then I was just saying like anything on a beat, cause like that's just time you didn't really know what you was doing for real. Nah, work on the craft and figure it out. You feel me? Okay. So growing up, who were some artists that you like looked up to? I guess when Oof. you was getting into it, the music. Mike Michael Jackson. Really? Yeah, okay. I was into him Mike heavy. Uh, niggas don't say it, but really, like, R and B wise, like R Kelly is go crazy. I was fucking with R Kelly. Oh, I mean, not sanctioned. I, I mean, I don't really, I don't really you for me, but I keep it a buck fifty. But, so, uh, do you like? Do you think that people should separate the artist from their personal life, or from, what's your thoughts you, on that? Like that's like his music is hard. You feel me? But what he got going on don't got nothing to do with me. Like, really, I, I don't care what you got going on in your life because that's what you got going on per se. Like with the. Instance may be whatever, but that, that don't got nothing to do with me, bro. But I'm <laughs> saying, like, a lot of fans, like, like connect, connect about the person. Yeah. yeah, I mean. So, do you feel like we should separate that? Your personal life should be personal? Yeah, of course. Like, I what feel are your like thoughts? that. I think that the personal life should be personal. You keep it away from your music career, but and then it's hard to do that because it's like kind of combined in a way. Yeah, your so influence, like exactly, your impact. You know I mean? So, it's not really like you can't really like hide for real because everywhere it's going to be like televised type shit, but mm. it shouldn't be like you judged off that, but. Well, he's the ones, yeah. <laughs> but you're saying, like, musically, like, you musically, you feel me? Yeah, I mean, some. people feel the same way about Kanye West, too. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, he, I feel like some my opinion about him, like, he just be chatting sometimes, okay. But that's just like, you feel me? Everybody got their own thing, you got to stand on what you stand on when he's talking, what he believe in, he stand on, you feel me? And I respect okay. that, any man, okay. So, um, so when did I say, when do you feel like the music is picking up? Like, when do you feel like it started picking up like, for me? Yeah. Or music overall in general? No, for you, for you. Nah, for me, uh, I'd say, go watch it through my numbers. I've seen, like, the scene, the increase in my numbers and seeing, mm-hmm. like, people, like, the feedback from others, like, okay, yo, bro, like, keep going. Like, you really, like, you going crazy with this shit. And from there, I was like, all right, bro, like, I really understand. Like, boom, cause I take all feedback. Like, I don't like the, like, the fake love. Like, niggas keep me personal. If you fucking with some shit, you're not fucking with shit. Don't just tell me, like, if you know me, you feel me? That's fake corny, but, okay. like, so I take like all the feedback in, and I'm like, all right, yo, so bro, just keep pushing. But really, it's just been like motivation, nigga, telling me keep doing what I'm doing and keep working, and that's pretty much it. Okay. And so who? So people as in fans, people you work fans, with, on the people, team? I, people I work with, people, people all us around me that like, I play my music for. Like I stop from people like, yo, just bump this for me. If you fuck with it, you fuck with it. Don't just tell me you fuck with it. Come sitting right here, type shit. Okay. And they be like, nah, yeah, I fuck with your shit. So like, I know like people, there's people out there that's gonna fuck with my shit. So it's like, so you don't want like a bunch of yes man. You want like real honest. Cause there's no point of being a yes man. Back. We don't got no time to be. It's like you wasting time being a yes man, bro. And just do what <laughs> you gotta do. <laughs> like just like just just hit it. We gotta do. You feel me? Like it's no point yeah. of that, bro. I'm not a yes man. You feel me? But if that's what you do. I'm not saying you are, but you're yeah, saying no, you like I'm saying, just like in general, like, if that's mm-hmm. what you do, then, hey, you do what you do, but it's not right. for me. Okay, so, your project, Last Night Thoughts, mm-hmm. what inspired that? Late Night Thoughts. Late Night Thoughts. Late night thoughts it was, um, all those songs I recorded was in, like, was in, like, 2.30 to 4 a.m. type. Oh, so you did it purposely at late night? Not purposely. That's just the time that I record. Oh. Like, that's when I'll be That at. is such a coincidence. <laughs> you can't. <laughs> Every swear. time you go to the store, it's 2 in the morning, bro. No, you want to know what's crazy? <laughs> the thing about that, all those all those songs on there is recorded in my closet. Oh, so you didn't go to the store for any of these. So you got the whole in the crib set up. Not even, because I recorded them. Two of them recorded in my car. So I have so some, you like, just some a travel set up. Yeah, exactly. Okay. So I have a travel set up where I just go and I How just record my that? shit everywhere. How is that? Like, traveling with your shit. 
Which is it's fun because you could like you could work anywhere. You feel me? Oh, and yeah. I enjoy that. So like I'm somewhere else. I got to change the vibe, scenery. I feel like I want to record. I go ahead and oh, tune yeah. in. Yeah. But that so, inspires you. So music. that fucks with it even more. So like I fuck with it. So you don't care for the traditional studio vibe? Oh no, no. I like to like be alone. I record anyway. So it's like if I'm in my web, if I'm in the closet, if I'm in the studio, it's just me and producer. It's like okay. not really too many. Because you know how to produce a little bit. So you engineer your own stuff too. No, I'll send it to like I'll, after I, like, I'll record it. I'll send it to somebody like okay. Mix Master like that. And then you, once you're done, you want feedback. After from my music, like what yeah, you mean? yeah. Because you were saying like you want your, you know, your fans and people uh-huh. to tell you feedback on your music. Of course. So you mean like after you lay it down, like you don't want people in the studio with you, like nah, fix this. Nah, nah fix I don't. Really, I don't really like nobody in the studio with me. Just okay. Not even based off just uh, feedback. Just like. I just like too to be much in there going get, on. Yeah, I just like to be in there and just work. That's what I'm there for. Just to okay. do what I got to do and then just leave. <laughs> you feel me? Okay. Were you um? Was the goal to do twenty one songs or like? Well, that's a, what you mean for the project. You got twenty one songs. Yeah, I wanted to do. I wanted to put more, but it was. Wait, the <laughs> more? So I wanted to put more, but, Chris they, Brown but they vibes. told me. But they told me no. But nah, they told me that twenty one. Nah, yeah, twenty one is a valid number. The sanction. So more would have been like the OD. Low key, fake. Just cause like I feel like a lot of people time spans are so short. Yeah, right yeah now. you're not lying. So you probably wouldn't have been tuning that much. So. 21, I just kept it right there to stop. Okay, so what's the top five songs on the project? Right now, I say um, Money, Back In, uh, Back In featuring Chatland Pat, uh, Money featuring uh, Lit Yoshi, uh, Skirting Through Traffic, uh, FL Dessa has FL Dessa on it. Okay, um, so all of them are valid. <laughs> those are sanctioned. Okay. Um, price on my head, like I said before, No Company, Like Harden. So no, I basically like, yeah, every song. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shit, shit <laughs> so thump. basically yeah, every I'm song. Saying Got shit it. Thump, but yeah. Okay, but you know how like artists be like, "Yo, I recorded this song and uh-huh. I don't really like it, but everybody likes it." Do you have one of those? I have on that. I'm pretend, I have a couple of those. Like, yo, but what you mean you like that? Why song? do artists do that though? No, Y'all record it. Song, they drop they it. Don't record like it. it I don't want. I don't. I don't like it. I don't want to drop it. But it's like I don't know. I'm not sure why. It's just like I don't fuck with it. After you record, it, you're like, yeah, that's not it. Or I could come harder type shit. So it's like, all right, boom. Okay. So you when you say you come. When you come harder, you right. base. Do you feel like you rate yourself based on the last track you did, or you rate yourself on like lyrics bars? Like, how do you always make sure you're better than your last song? I always think it's crazy. Not even on some like song, but every song I record, I feel like it's better than my last song. Okay. So that's why I feel like, like I'm not listening. I but listen like, to like. But like based on what though? The beats, the the. Not lyrics? even the uh, like the the versatility, the flows, okay. the cadence, how I'm coming on the track. So that's how I tune in to understand. Like, all right, boom. And I listen to the last track, like, yeah, you're improving. Or I listen to tracks from months before, prior, and see, like, okay. progress type shit. So. so you are always trying to try new stuff? Yes. That's why. I don't like to be, like, stuck to, like, just, like, you're this type of rapper, you're this type of, okay. like, just try different shit out and see. So you, you like to be an artist overall. Do you have a favorite genre, I guess, you like doing? Or a favorite sound you like doing right now? Because you know, everybody like drill music, but then the Jersey Club exactly. thing is kind of going mm-hmm. up right now. Do you have a favorite I'll sound? I go ahead and I, not no, not a certain sound. Cause I indulge in like in everything, so I try I try different stuff out. But something okay. specific that's just for me, not really, nah. Okay, but a song I like mm-hmm. on the project is "Feel Like Tripping." Okay, so we're gonna play a game. Okay, I'm gonna name some scenarios, and you tell me would you trip in this scenario or you would chill. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. So the first one. Um, it's a guy's trip. You with all your homies. Okay. Y'all fly some girls out. The girl you flew out ends up not fucking with you. She fuck with one of your friends. <laughs> okay. Are you tripping or are you going to chill? I don't think I'm going to trip. I'm not going to trip. Right? Nah. Gangster. Because we there for a reason. Okay. Long as you got, long as. Yeah, somebody's, yeah. <laughs> long you, yeah. <laughs> Somebody doing something, smacking, then nah, you sanctioned. But if you okay. just came there for no reason, that's a little out of pocket. All right, so long as somebody's yeah, valid. long as somebody's so yeah. you you so care, really sharing is caring. Yeah, of course. If it's with the game, we gotta you feel me. But if it's like a main dime, that's a little beast. Yeah, nah, it can be mean. Of course, mm, you feel me. That's yeah. a little. That's a little. All right. All right, next one. We find out one of your friends was stealing from you. Tripping. Tripping. Wilding out. Tripping. <laughs> On some shit, cause I wouldn't do that to you. You feel me? So like, I take yeah. shit personal. So like, don't if do you, some, yeah. Don't do shit to me that I wouldn't do to you. Even shit. from the way you explain, like, yo, I move a lot. Mm. Feel me? I don't really get connected to people. I feel like if you let somebody in and you find that out, I, I can see you, you try to trip, bro. Cause it's like, bro, it's, I don't like corny shit. You feel me? Okay. You in the studio? Mm-hmm. Um, 
the engineer doesn't hear you. Mm-hmm. Like you telling him, yo, I want to punch in, but he's like not paying attention. I be tripping sometimes. <laughs> Cause nigga, I was like, nigga's doing something. He's not paying attention. I'm like, yo, come on, bro. Like, what's up? <laughs> it's like, nah, I be tripping sometimes. So okay, okay, all right. Um, you find out one of your ex is dating one of your friends. Tripping or chilling? My ex is dating my friend. Mm-hmm. Tripping. Tripping. Like my brother, yeah, like, yeah, like you weird for that. You feel okay. me? Like you know I was with this dime now. You my homeboy and then that's fake corny, so nah, yeah. yeah. You like you're tripping. Okay. Um, you get booked for a show. Okay. You get there, mm. it's unorganized. Tripping. <laughs> <laughs> hate that shit. <laughs> I hate that shit. Man. Like, okay. But you know, I feel like it's different measurements to unorganized. Okay. Nah. Okay, so maybe like cutting your set short. Tripping. Are you tripping? Tripping. What you mean? Um, you have what about going through the front door? Or this be big on I need the side the door entrance. That's what the song back end is for. It's like, <laughs> fuck the front door. You coming through the back end. Because, like, nah, I don't want to trip. So, tripping. You need all your shows to be right. Just be the sanction. Yeah, bro. It's okay. like all that confusion shit. Like, nah, no time for that. Okay. You performing. All your homies want to get on stage. You tripping or you chilling? Nah, it's sanction. Is valid? Yeah. Gang valid? Yeah. Yeah, it's fine. Of course. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Some people be like, I it's not gonna be like that anyway. Cause I don't have that much, but it's like, if niggas wanna get on stage with me, it's yes, yeah, yeah, pull up. Okay. Um, you in you in the studio? Okay. You know, vibing through beats, trying to find a good beat. Okay. The engineer like, nah, you will flow on this, mm-hmm. and he start freestyling. Oh, whoa. you tripping? I'll probably, I'll or you probably be weak. I ain't gonna lie to you. I'll probably start rolling. But if he's <laughs> if he's tough, that's gonna be crazy though. You feel me? But nah, I'd probably. I'm not gonna trip. I'm not gonna trip. I probably just start dying though. That <laughs> shit, that's some shit that had me weak. And you just start busting out rapping without niggas saying nothing. It's crazy. Yeah. Okay. Um. Last one. Uh-huh. Studio session. Copy. Find out you can't smoke in there. That's tough. That tripping be, or that chilling? Be, I. I be tripping, bro. That's <laughs> nah, you need a, weed to get the vibe. Two, bro, just be like, damn. Or not even when niggas say like, you can smoke in the studio, but you can't smoke in the booth. Okay. Type shit. You have, we have your own clothing brand. Yes, man. Sheesh. Mm-hmm. What inspired that? I be saying sheesh a lot. So it's like, I feel like it was kind of trendy. Cause I know that people be saying sheesh too. So I just decided just like to throw it on a, on like my, on a, from my clothing brand. Cause then I'll be walking past people. They be screaming sheesh out across the block. They mm-hmm. be screaming sheesh, but they see it from a mile away. And it's just crazy. Cause they say it and they, they, they daily, that's in their daily usage too. So it's just been catching people's eyes. And I've seen that they fuck with it. So I just continue running with it. So sheeshclothingline.com. Make sure y'all tune in <laughs> on Instagram. Sheesh clothing line. Go check that shit out. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I be trying to promote like my merch as much as I can. Just get people to sell it. Cause it's really like for like winter attire. So okay. I got some winter club. I got t-shirts, hats, scullies. I got a whole bunch of shit. Y'all can check out on the website and on Instagram. Yeah, I think it's cool because a lot of artists be having like a picture of them on their shirt. Nah, yeah, which, I never, I never really like, gonna, I never been a fan of like, like wearing like, somebody's face on you. <laughs> I mean, that's if you want to, that's fine. You feel me? But it's like I never been. So like, coming up with a cool, you know, different trying to be, you know, stand out. Anybody could wear it. So like, if you wasn't doing music right now, what do you think you would have been doing? Probably be cooking. Really, like on some chef shit, yeah, a TV show, probably, restaurant, probably. something like that. Yeah. They like cooking? I like enjoy cooking, yeah. Okay. Like what's your favorite dish? What's that making? To me, I make it like a seafood pasta. I like crab it has like lobster, shrimp, scallops. It's like a seafood. Oh, mac so you and be cheese. chefing it up. Nah, yeah, I cook it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. So um is that like one of your goals outside of music, like to do a restaurant or something? Or like what are some mus- some goals outside of music? I know I want I want a couple more aside from my clothing line, I want a couple more uh uh, businesses just to be a boss myself but as far as okay. like cooking i i never really thought of like pursuing it but mm-hmm. it's just like it's always there i know i can do it because it's just okay. like you feel me so more businesses like what you don't got to speak on specific of ones course. but like some ideas real estate real kind estate? of that's what's popping right now i know technology's going crazy so i've been trying mm-hmm. to get into technology and shit like that kind of that's where it's good at but besides that really that's pretty much it though. what do you mean trying to get into technology you feel like you're not tech savvy no nah, i'm not at all I really? So like you don't like being on Instagram and TikToks and all that? No, like that, okay, yeah, but I'd be like, it'd take me a minute to like, figure shit out. Like on the so, computer and shit? Yeah, yeah, like Microsoft, okay. like technical shit, like, I'm not, that's not okay. funny. Come on, say producing is mad technical. No, so that's what I'm saying, that's, that's why, that's why, why that. I stopped, so that shit was right there, that was a little too OD. Okay, so definitely that. Um, 
So, how do you feel about, like, when you're traveling? I mean, people, of course, probably been stopping you, getting to know you and stuff like that. No, when I'm traveling, I'll be fine. Everybody say, show love wherever I'm at. It's never yeah. on some weird no, shit. No, I'm not saying it's going to be a bad thing. No, but, of course. You know, just, um, just adjusting, I guess, to the new fame, all the new attention. Has it been hard? Or are you more of a low-key person? Like? No, nah, I stay, like, really low-key. Like, it's hard. Like, they try to get me to be, like, post more talk more interact with my fans cause i really don't do that often yeah but they say that's something that you need to do but it's never yes. been like into like <laughs> just like communicating and shit like that but uh-huh. i be trying to i be trying to learn and understand like that's what you need to do if you want to if you want to grow you got to communicate you got to step mm-hmm. out you know get uncomfortable and shit like that so i've been trying to understand that try to cope and reach out more toward the people okay and you just more of a do you feel a lot of people feel like they don't want to do a social media thing because uh-huh. less of a headache do you feel like that, or you just feel like you're a laid back, low key person already? I feel like I'm just like a like. Let's say you know like J Cole and Kendrick Lamar. Uh huh. They don't gotta do too much posting, but they yeah. music they drop something that shit's still going dumb. You feel me? Yeah. So it's really like the more some low key type shit. Not really too out. That's pretty much like it's like a vibe type shit. Like I can okay. drop my music, but I'm not really in social media every day broadcasting what's going on. Just, okay. Yeah. And what do you think makes you stand out as an artist from like other people? I say my mindset. My mindset and then my wordplay. If you listen to me, you understand like what's really going on. My versatility is how I just don't sound the same on every track. And I say like of all the songs I created, mm-hmm. probably like over like probably like over hundred songs. It's not one song that it's, it's not one song that sounds alike. Okay. So it's not one song that sounds like the other. And it's like it's a lot of people that songs like sound the same. You're not mm-hmm. gonna find that in me. Okay. All right. And are you signed? Are you independent? I'm how independent are you now? right now? Right independent? now, independent, independent, chilling. How you feel about labels? Do you want a label deal? Do you want to try to do it all on your own? Not what are your really. thoughts? I really want to stay independent for real. I just see like what's going on. If you look at what's going on in the industry, how labels is like, this shit is really fake grimy, you feel me? And it's beginning yeah. done dirty. What, so. what grimy part have you heard? See what's going on. I ain't going to say no names and shit. No, the, no but names, course, but, but just, just like, you know, niggas stories. Niggas like, niggas not getting their bread. You playing, playing, playing um, mind games with people. Not really. It's just some weird shit that be going they on. Don't yeah, A lot of people corny. were like... <laughs> Yeah, a lot of people were like upset when they heard like some labels was doing like life insurance policies. I need uh, artists. That. They was doing that. French Montana did an interview. He basically saying like people was labels was doing life insurance policies on artists because they they might die. That's a little basically. Deep. So that's why I think it was nah, that's, that's, that's OD, OD too. Yeah. yeah so some people OD, are just yeah. like, I want to do independent the whole way, uh-huh. or some people are like, I just want that money and then I'm gonna be off. And then that. branch off. Yeah, that sounds that's a good plan too. That's what niggas be trying to run with, but. For me, I try to try to be independent type shit. So, what are some more of your musical goals and music like? As far, I just want to be like just be known as an artist, just for my craft, and to just like make an effect in the music industry, not just being tied down to one thing, but just trying different things out. So, seeing how he branch out, how he 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 opens to change. Since I've been like just moving around so much, I've always had to adapt to change. So, the way he's comfortable with trying new stuff, okay, and being different. So, that's pretty much. Okay, so want them to know that you're mm-hmm. versatile for sure. Yes, ma'am. Okay, and um, so I guess so. What should people expect? The project's out now. Oh yeah, project came out October fifth. If y'all ain't tuning yet, <laughs> go ahead and tune in. You feel me? But nah, you're just gonna see. You're gonna hear more about Swindler. You're gonna understand my thought process, how I feel about life, where I want to see my, where I what happened in the past, what's going on in the present time, and where I see myself in the future. You feel me? And just more about my lifestyle and what's going on with me and my mindset and how I see or envision the world, basically. And that's pretty much it. I mean, okay. so how do you envision the world? Because you're saying it like you see the world different. Like how do you envision? Nah, it? I don't really see it different. I just when you when you when you understand when you actually like process it is what it is you'll see life completely different. And everybody has, like, their own shoes. Like, you can't, you're not really going to understand my mindset besides of what I'm saying out loud, but it's, like, a lot of stuff don't bother me because, like, you can't control what's, like, what's not, like, you got to play the hand that's dealt sometimes. So sometimes mm-hmm. shit is out of your control. And when you, when you understand that, I right, boom, I can't control this or I have no type of say about what's going on, you just understand, like, all right, it is what it is because, like, okay. there's no time. Time keeps going, you feel me? So there's no mm-hmm, time to sure. dwell. So let's say you pay, you, you're thinking about a bill. You so miserable, you sad and shit. That next bill mm-hmm. come next month, now you back two. All right, yeah. you sad, that next bill, now you back three. Yeah. All right, damn, so what you doing? So time so, keep going, so there's no time to be sad and be dwelling. It's what it is, okay. it is what it is, and you keep going, and that's just my mindset. So, to sum it up, you have it is what it is kind of music. That's just, you gonna hear basically. that. Yeah, basically. Yeah. 
Yeah. Because <laughs> I'm trying to get the, you know, so definitely. So if you're having a bad time, you definitely can listen to your music and get over it. Yeah. And get some motivation. Yeah. I just like my music. I sit there. I like to vibe. So I create my music as in like music I like to listen to. I like to smoke and vibe. Mm-hmm. So that's the music I make for people. I just want to smoke, kick back, and just vibe. Okay. So if not on some raw, raw type shit, you just going to listen to me on some, yeah, I'm vibing type shit. Okay. All right. So tell the people where to find you, where to find me. You can find me out. Right here, this camera. Grupal. You can find me out on all platforms: Spotify, Apple Music, SoundCloud, Twitter, S W I N D A A A S three A triple A. So make sure y'all tune in. Album Late Night Thoughts out October fifth. You ain't check that out? Please tune in. Let me know all feedback, positive, ne- negative. I'm accepting. On what? Oh, on, on um, Apple Music, the money sign on Apple Music because they don't let me put on everything else. <laughs> all right, all right, and we out. Bye.